Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to set up and configure Puppet on Ubuntu 6.0 phone version. What do we mean by Puppet and why Puppet is required? So let's take an example for suppose there's an administrator and that administrator system administrator need to update couple of systems or couple of servers at a time. So by using Puppet, it's an, uh, uh, Puppet is an automation software that helps the system administrator to manage the infrastructure throughout its life cycle. By using Puppet, the system administrator or a user can easily automate the repetitive task. Also, it can be used to quickly deploy the critical applications on various servers or on multiple servers. Now, the server can range from one server or can be of up to 10,000 or millions of server. So, productive, productively manage changes scaling from 10 servers or to up to 10,000. And the servers can be either on premises or in cloud. So by using Puppet, we can manage, we can deploy, we can upload, or we can uh, manage the application. We can deploy all the applications on multiple servers together with a single command. So let's have a look how we are going to configure Puppet on Ubuntu operating system. Now, I have already installed Ubuntu operating system in my VM. Now the commands which are required for setting up Puppet on Ubuntu operating system is I have already prepared the commands for your ease so that you can have a look those commands. So the very first command is we need to set up the key and the key is wget wh wget https apt.puppetlabs.com slash puppet labs release trusty.deb so that's the repository so I'm going to pass a command and you can see it has successfully downloaded and create a new puppet labs with names as puppet labs release trusty.deb.4 it is saved successfully and uh, now I'm going to pass a new command that is sudo dbkg minus i puppet labs release trusty dot deb dot four and enter because I have passed here sudo so sudo mainly it represent the super user so I pass the credentials or password for my super user and it will reading the database and set up the link or just read the database and because I have already installed the directory so that's why it didn't install them again but in your case if you are if you are passing this command first time it will take some time and it will take these number of files and directories from this particular location from the URL which we have provided and is stored into this particular lab then we are going to set the repository with the command so I copy paste the repository command I copy this command and paste here paste and enter and to get the latest update because it's a online repository and couple of users they will be adding the changes or modifications into the repository so I would like to get the recent updated the updations all the updating which is which has been done till now so I pass this command sudo apt get update and it will connect and it will download the updates as you can see it has been it's downloading updates from the various locations and stored into the repository so it may take some time to download and install on the system 
so it has done successfully and now I'm going to install puppet it might possible that while installing puppet it may show you an error for Ruby Ruby package so to install the Ruby package we need to pass a command so these are the three commands which we need to pass for installing the Ruby package so I'm passing these commands one by one because I why I'm sharing this to you because I faced this issue while working on puppet in my system so that's why I just try to help you with that just try to uh, explain you that if you might be getting this kind of issues regarding the rubies and all regarding Ruby package so you can use these commands to set up Ruby on your system and then again apt get update and finally so I'll pass sudo apt get update because the updates will be done on the system so and if, if I'm not a super user I would not be able to make updates on this system so that's why I pass sudo here and once it is done I pass a command apt get install and this particular install libag use ruby 1.9.1 ag use tool so after we done this uh, ruby will install on the system and we can have a look for that so after we pass this command the ruby will get installed on the system and the location of that system will be so i want to find out whether ruby has been installed on my system or not so for that I can simply pass a command which Ruby and it shows me the Ruby has been installed in user bin Ruby and if I want to find out the version of Ruby so I can pass Ruby version so I'm working with Ruby 2.3.1 version so the location is user bin Ruby we can have a look user user bin and Ruby and if I want to get the directory of this, so the directory is computer user lib and Ruby. And in Ruby, we have got vendors underscore Ruby. And under vendors underscore Ruby, we need to have, we need to make sure that this file should exist. Save underscore YAML underscore RB. If this file does not ex exist, it might possible that it will throw an error message and, there, and then your program does not exist because this is mainly to set up a link between the Ruby and this file is required to run the puppet. And finally, we done with all the commands and all the files. I cancel this. Now in this terminal I'm going to pass a command to install puppet so to install puppet the command is sudo apt get install puppet and when you pass enter it will download and install the updated puppet so as you can see here it's already shows that the puppet is already the newest version that is 3.8.7 and if I pass I let's have a look let's check whether puppet has been installed or not so puppet and it says either you pass puppet help to get the help or to get the version I write puppet version and it shows that the puppet version is 3.8.7 now let's test whether this puppet is working perfectly or not so for this I'm going to create a new file named as pp with extension puppet in the current working directory and my current working directory is uh, to get the current working directory I pass a command PWD so my current work my current working directory is home slash BISP so I get to home computer home BISP and I'm going to create a new PP file and I give this name as BISP puppet test dot 
pp with pp extension and in this file i pass one command notify this is for notification and i want to say i just pass a command welcome to bisp solutions and let's have a look let's test it so first i save it i save this and to test it i'm going to pass a command here and to test the the command is puppet apply and file name so let's do one thing uh, i can print ls and i can see we have got a file bisp puppet test dot pp so i pass puppet to run it apply bisp puppet test dot pp and enter and when i enter if there is some issue it will throw error message let's so let's try to solve the issue and the issue here is notify and so as you can see here i have added a semicolon and oh sorry i added a colon here once i add a colon and execute the command uh, same command i pass the same command here puppet apply bisp puppet test.pp and you see i'm getting a notification message welcome to bisp solution also i want to i want to display the current host name on which i will be working on so to get that again uh, i can use that welcome to bisp solution and uh, host name on which you will be working on is i pass dollar and uh, host name double quotes bracket close save it and let's test it again so again i execute the same command for testing and see along with the message message as welcome to bisp solutions and the host name on which you will be working on is ubuntu so i'm working on ubuntu host name so that's my host name so that's how we can set up and install and configure puppet on an ubuntu operating system i hope this video will help you to set up ubuntu on your operating system or oh, sorry puppet on your ubuntu system if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on uh, automation and configuration tools keep watching have a nice day goodbye